Sea level rise is not a new phenomenon. Sea levels have been rising and falling for millions of years, and nature's found creative ways to adapt to this constant change. Coral reefs build up as sea levels rise, and healthy mangrove forests, marshes, and grasses trap sediments in their roots, effectively raising the ground underneath them. Today, however, the rise of sea levels is posing an urgent problem. Scientific data from the 2013 IPCC report show that the rate of sea level rise has increased from 1.7 millimeters per year in the past century to 3.2 millimeters per year in the last two decades. That's almost double the historic rate. In some regions, like the warm pool of the western tropical Pacific, the local rate of increase is over 10 millimeters a year, triple the global average. At the same time, natural coastal barriers are being destroyed and replaced by human development, weakening nature's resilience. Bottom line, these ecological changes may be happening faster than our ability to adapt. In the last century alone, sea levels have increased an average of 19 centimeters globally. These higher sea levels leave coastal and island communities more vulnerable to storms and resulting storm surges, sometimes causing enormous loss of life and property. We're also seeing more intrusion of saltwater into groundwater tables, and even the spread of disease. Small islands like Kiribati in the Pacific may become uninhabitable, forcing residents to relocate. How do we respond to this change? Communities around the world are designing adaptation strategies that enhance natural resilience and improve built structures. Here in New Jersey, for example, shorelines are being completely restored or redesigned following the effects of Hurricane Sandy. In London, the colossal Thames River barrier was built to protect parts of the 2,000-year-old city from flooding, and it's costing taxpayers some $13 million annually. In Fiji, a far more economical strategy is being proposed. Lacking the resources to build seawalls and new drainage systems, the residents of Lamy are restoring coral reefs and mangroves, as well as upland forests and stream buffers to help prevent flooding and erosion. Estimates suggest that $1 spent restoring a mangrove saves five times more in damages than $1 spent building a seawall. Restoring these natural habitats has an added benefit. They boost fish populations and the local economy, and make the environment safer and more attractive to tourists. What can you do? You can help prevent sea level rise from damaging your community by getting involved in the restoration and preservation of coastal habitats in your area. If you're a decision maker, include natural barriers in your coastal protection strategy where possible. All we need is a little more planning and foresight. Every coastal community, regardless of its resources, has economical and effective solutions to sea level rise. Like Mother Nature, we just need to be more creative in finding them.